Welcome, everybody, to the December 2023 Project Taking Ground update here at Compass Bible Church, Treasure Valley. Project Taking Ground is what we're calling our mission to move from renters at a temporary facility to a more permanent full-time facility. I'm joined again by our business administrator, Chris Hernandez. And Chris, this time we want to focus kind of on the financial side. Last time, which if you didn't watch our update in November, go back and watch that. We talked about specific properties in 2023. This time we want to kind of give a financial update of where we're at. So Chris, how is the financial aspect of Project Taking Ground going? Yeah, so since we're going through Genesis, let's go back to the beginning. Sounds great. Of this project. Yes. So we launched it in December of 2020, and uh, we launched it with a goal of raising $3 million so that we could buy at least eight acres of property. Which is still our goal. It's been confirmed over time. Yeah, absolutely. So within the first month, we raised over $200,000. And after the first year, we had just over $900,000 in the project fund. And so today, through November of 2023, we're at $1.7 million almost right. in our Project Taking Ground funding. And so we want to say, first and foremost, praise God for providing that $1.7 million, which is not an insignificant amount over and above our regular offering and our regular mm-hmm. ministry that we're doing at a, at a growing church, which demands a lot. And the second thing, after praise God, is thank you who have given to this project. I know a couple other churches that have been going through building projects over the last couple years, and uh, some of the ways God has provided is through gifts that were literally in the seven figures. And if you look at what we've raised, that we have not got that, but the encouraging aspect of that is it really has been this group effort from the church, everyone pitching in and giving over and above their normal giving to contribute to where we've gotten to today, which is pretty amazing. So praise God and thank you uh, for how far he's brought us so far. But where does that then kind of put us now? Yeah, so what does $1.7 million allow us to go out and do? Mm -hmm. So we're obviously looking for dirt, And if you watched the previous video, we had mentioned some of the other properties that we looked at. And so this is just giving you some financial aspects. We had 10 acres that Mm -hmm. we made an offer at 1.25, and uh, the seller was willing to consider that. Uh, There were some issues with the property that was going to make it really expensive to develop. Mm -hmm. Again, that was kind of mentioned in the previous video. Uh, And then there was a 17-acre parcel that we had identified, and we made a $2 million offer on that. And the seller on that one also was willing to consider that offer. Right. So those are some of the things that we've done with the money we've got today. So it's been able to put us in a position to be more aggressive, to actually make offers on pieces of land that look like there is some potential. While there's some complications, uh, there's some potential, even one of these properties, we're still kind of in conversations about whether or not it would be workable. Right. Are there properties maybe where it seems a little more simpler and there's not as many questions about utilities and water and and all of these other things? And if so, what do those look like? Yeah, so there's definitely some other properties that are currently on the market available. We could purchase them and look to start development a lot faster uh, if we had the funds available. So there's a 15-acre parcel over by Compass Public Charter School where we do Sunday night Mm -hmm. and Tuesday night. So for those of you who go to Adventure Club on Tuesday or are part of the student ministry on Sunday, there's a for sale sign right across yep. the street as you exit. That property, while it's 15 acres, is listed at $6 million. Yep. Well, there's another parcel off of Chinden and Star that's a smaller parcel. It's 13 acres. That's also about a $6 million purchase. Right. So those properties seem workable for us, but they're beyond what we've raised so far. And part of our philosophy is Uh, When we think about debt with this project, we've wanted to stay away from that, at least in large part, on the buying property aspects, because our goal is not to be property owners. Our goal is to build a building that we can use for ministry. And we know the building is going to cost more than the dirt. So that kind of gets us looking ahead. When we think beyond just buying a piece of property to the the full picture, what does that start to look like for us? Yeah, so... Dirt is one thing. The building is what we're yeah. going to actually be using. And so we've estimated that we need about forty to 50,000 square feet of space yep. to be able to do everything we currently do on Sunday mornings, plus midweek conferences, other things that we would like to do as a church. We need about forty to 50,000 square feet. And some of the other churches that are developing in the, in the Valley right now are telling us that they're paying about $300 a square foot for construction. Well, forty to fifty thousand square feet means it's going to cost twelve to fifteen million dollars to build. Right. So that's looking long term, and there might be some creative ways we can phase that to do it right. in steps. This is also where we'd be more open to uh, 
financing some of this, obviously, within our means right. as a church would be an important aspect of it. But that helps give people a, a broader sense. And so thank you so much, Chris. That's helpful information. I think a lot of people might be asking, okay, what, what do we do with this information? And I would give you two takeaways with this. The first would be continue to give over and above the regular giving that you would give to the church as God provides for you. This is frankly a project we're going to have to keep in mind for a long time to get to that ultimate goal of of having a building. So I want to encourage you, continue to invest and even to view it that way with a mindset of what this could be and how God's going to use this as a center for making disciples full time. Mm -hmm. And then the other takeaway from this, I think, would be to trust God. I actually kind of hope people walk away from this video with a bigger sense of, wow, this is a really big project. This is a really ambitious thing that we're hoping to do. But I hope we also all leave saying, but this is exactly what our God can do. One verse I've come back to so many times throughout these last few years is Philippians 4.19, and my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. We have every confidence that God is going to provide what we need. So I think that should give us some excitement uh, to say, wow, this seems big, but we're trusting that God will provide for us one way or another. So thank you so much, Chris, for helping keeping for helping to keep us informed here on this project. Thank you to all of you as you continue to invest in this project. Let's continue to watch and see what God is going to do through Project Taking Ground.